times can a man turn his head and pretend that he just doesn't see? Peter, Paul, and Mary were one of the first successful groups that melded the underground folk movement with a pop sound. They had a knack of not only making progressive social issues palatable, they also took great songs and they made them greater. The group was comprised of Peter Yarrow, Noel Paul Stuckey, a.k.a. Paul, and Mary Travers, and were perhaps one of the champions of the revolutions of the 60s. They broke up but later on reformed, performing sporadically. With Mary's death in 2009, Paul took to writing and he's come up with a collection of music that spans all styles. His album One and Many comes out on August 8th, which is the official date of the 50th anniversary of Peter, Paul and Mary. However, he's offering a taste of what's on the album with a series of EPs, one of which, Capricious Bird, is officially released June 27th, and he talked about the concept behind the recording and why. This new album of mine is released really in five, in three different five-track EPs, you know. Uh, the, f the first one was called One Voice, One Guitar, which is pretty much what I'm doing here. And then the second one has a band, and the third one will have this symphony orchestra behind Cue the Moon. So it's a 15-track uh, CD with music, and, and people say, well, what, is there still a need to comment on what's happening in the world today? Of course there is, you know. We hear music at Occupy Wall Street, uh, you know, addressing the improprieties and the greed. Uh, so there's a song that I've written called In These Times that does the same thing. And there's always, in the words of Paul McCartney, room for, you know, a love song. So that's what Cue the Moon is. But I think uh, the diversity of subject material on this new album is really symbolic in a way and answers uh, the invitation that folk music has always made. You know, speak to me about what's going on in your life. Speak to me about what's going on in my life. I want to share that with you. He said that the EPs open up a window to the creative process. I'm releasing these EPs because I couldn't get the product done in time. No, I, that's only partially true. Also, I was discovering at the same time that some of these songs that I was doing were better in live performance than they were recorded. And they were better done by just me and a guitar because being that vulnerable allows people to invest some of their own thinking into the process. Some of the really meaningful times in my musical experience have been when the performer has made a mistake and allowed himself or herself to be vulnerable and then to fess up to the mistake and then to move on. That kind of intimacy is hard to find in everything that's slick nowadays. He still plays with his old Peter, Paul, and Mary buddy, Peter Yarrow. Before the release of his album, he's got one more EP to release, Cue the Moon, and here's a taste from that. The twilight sky The stars are bright Leave the curtain open For tonight And ask the band one more to take my hand and cue the moon. Oh, let the reeds play with your hair. Is it possible that love is everywhere? And we have found this perfect night somehow. Cue the moon and kiss me now. And dance while the night is young. 